One race getting national attention is the Republican primary for governor. Former President Donald Trump and his vice president, Mike Pence, have endorsed rival candidates. Four candidates are on the ballot, and recent polls show a tight race now between former Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Clayfish and businessman Tim Michaels. We are live at both campaign watch parties tonight. We begin with 12 News' Matt Smith at the Clayfish campaign in Oconomowoc. Matt? Patrick, it could be a late night with this race with national implications and by all accounts an incredibly close race at this hour between Rebecca Clayfish and Tim Michaels. Clayfish, who received the endorsement from former Vice President Mike Pence, voting early this morning in Concord. Both campaigns tonight ending their campaign and ending their watch parties here in Waukesha County. Several key factors we're watching at this hour and as polls will close at 8 o'clock, how well does Clayfish do in the Wow counties? Waukesha, Ozaki, Washington, and how well does Michaels do in the rural part of the state? And then there is that Trump factor, Trump endorsing Tim Michaels and what impact that may have on this race. You know, I think we'll find out, you know, as the stories get written and as time passes, but ultimately the endorsements that have mattered to me, the endorsements I think that have mattered most in this race are the endorsements of the regular people of Wisconsin. The crux of primaries, of course, is getting your supporters to the polls and who can do that best with historically lower turnout. Also of note tonight, how many votes Tim Ramthan receives. His name is on the ballot. He is running. Also, Kevin Nicholson, who dropped out of this race weeks ago, his name will still appear on the ballot tonight. Toya Rebecca Clayfish is expected here at her watch party when polls close at 8 o'clock. Matt Smith reporting live from the Clayfish campaign, as we mentioned, in Oconomowoc. Thank you. Let's go now to 12 News' Derek Rose with the Michaels Watch Party in Waukesha. Derek, he's played up that he's not a politician. Yeah, Patrick, Tim Michaels is a businessman. His background is in business. He co-owns his family's construction company. He positioned himself, as you mentioned, as a political outsider in this race. He has no background in politics outside of runs for state Senate and U.S. Senate previously. He's going into Election Day with the backing of former President Donald Trump, who stumped for him at a rally here in Waukesha on Friday. You know, the Trump endorsement has been a tremendous validation of our meteoric rise. People understand that we need to have less uh, professional politicians, less career politicians in government. It's how our founding fathers intended it to be. And Michaels plans to gather with his supporters here at Tuscan Hall in Waukesha, and they plan to watch the results here as they come in when polls close at 8 o'clock. Patrick. And Derek Rowe is live at the Michaels campaign watch party in Waukesha tonight. And as we mentioned, the winner of the Republican primary will face Democratic Governor Tony Evers in November.